Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Sarah Labrat, and today's writing experiment is going to be me trying Sarah J Mass's new writing schedule. If you go on to enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel by telling the YouTube algorithm that you liked my video and that someone else might too. This is not going to be me trying her whole writing routine, mostly because I've already done that and that video will be linked down below if you want to see a little bit more into like the minutia of her everyday or at least what she used to do in her everyday writing writing routine. And in that video, I tried to emulate like everything I could find about her writing routine, which included like keeping a mirror in her office down to what she ate for breakfast. So if that is the kind of video you are looking for, that is going to be linked down below. What I'm doing today is her new writing schedule for living in Hawaii. Yes, you heard me correctly. I was recently watching Sarah J Mass's Instagram live where she and her husband were sitting outside and in the sliding glass doors behind them, you could see like the reflection of of an ocean behind them. And thankfully the person that was interviewing them asked where they were, to which Sarah J Mass said that the house that they had in Philadelphia had sold faster than they had expected and that they had always wanted to live in Hawaii. And so they were living in Hawaii before moving to LA for the filming of A Court of Thorns and Roses, or at the very least the first season of it. So Sarah J Mass, her husband and her son are currently living in Maui. They did say that for the first six weeks they were in Hawaii. They were living on the island of Kauai, but now it sounds like they're on Maui. Where are you right now? I can see the reflection in the glass behind you. So I'm going to explain this in the least, <laughs> and I say this in a kind way, in the least like Kardashian-esque, like we went off to a nice place type of way. Like <laughs> all, Big respect for them, love them, but we sold our house in Philly in March because we're moving to LA for my work on the Akatar uh, TV show. We wound up moving sooner than we thought. So uh, Taryn doesn't start school until September. And one of our lifelong dreams was to live in Hawaii. Uh, so we are currently living in Maui. Uh, this We are residents of Hawaii uh, Woo! right now. Um, yeah. So you both have a okay. glow. I, I I, I like didn't want to be one of those obnoxious people that was like, here's my ocean background, but I didn't realize <laughs> that the window was <laughs> But jealousy sparked. I was like, oh my gosh, that's the dream, like writing in Hawaii. So of course I had to try it or at least some semblance of it considering that I am living in Fort Worth, Texas at the current time. In the interview, the interviewer asked Sarah what her writing routine has been and what she's been working on while she's been out there, to which she answered that she has been working on the second Crescent City book and also working a little bit on the pilot episode of the new Akatar TV show. But she also mentioned that she's been working on those two things primarily in like the first hour of the day when she wakes up in the morning. I mean, Sarah in Hawaii especially, she's so glowy. I know, I, uh, <laughs> I've been working outside. So I get up at like 5 a.m. every morning to get like solid hours of writing done. Um, and I work outside and like for the first time in my life, I've got like a tan. A, a tan. Well, speaking of writing though, Sarah, what, what, what have you been writing at five o'clock in the morning? I have been working on like all the things. I've been working on the Crescent City 2. So Crescent City 2 and then... So Crescent City 2. So, and then when I'm not working on that, uh, I am working on the uh, Akatar pilot with Ron Moore. I, however, forgot to watch this clip before I actually tried this technique. And so I was not getting up at 5 a.m. to write outside, but I also don't have a husband or a toddler. So I'm just gonna go with like the first hour of my waking day trying to write outside. Sarah J Mass said that she has been writing out near the tide pools. And while again, I'm in the middle of Texas, so I'm nowhere near tide pools, my apartment does have a pool. So that is where I chose to go out and write. I 
am now back inside. I'm currently in my writing room. I ended up spending an hour and 10 minutes outside and I ended up not taking any breaks other than just like standing up and switching locations from the cheese lounge to a chair and a table because I realized that that would probably be a little bit better for my posture, especially if I was gonna be out there for like an hour plus and that turned out to be very much the right decision. And I'm actually like very surprised and impressed because I'm feeling really good about it even though I just did spend an hour and 10 minutes pretty much straight working on this. I'm currently going over beta reader feedback and I'm feeling so good about it right now that I kind of just want to keep going and so I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> So after coming back up to my apartment, after writing out by the pool for like an hour and 10 minutes, I pretty much sat down at my desk and then worked on beta reader feedback for another hour and 20 minutes. So I've done two and a half hours so far, like much, much earlier than I normally do and much more time than I normally do in a day. So uh, I know that I've only done this one day so far, but so far starting my morning or morning today by working on my creative projects outside is working very, very well. We will just see what happens with tomorrow. So day one of two of this experiment was wildly successful. Like, oh my gosh, I ended up writing outside for about an hour and 10 minutes and then coming inside and almost immediately doing another hour and then came back to it that evening and ended up working on my book for a total of five hours and 40 minutes. I think a big part of this for me is the fact that I have been a late night writer for so long. Trying to write in the morning used to work really well for me, mostly because my brain does not wake up until several hours I'm actually physically awake. And so I can almost like trick myself into getting a lot done if I write earlier on in the day, but that just hasn't been working for me recently. So part of trying Sarah J Mass's new writing schedule of writing in the mornings was my attempt to start to write earlier in the day instead of ending writing at like 2.30 a.m. I also think that there is something so powerful about taking some time out of the space that I work in, that I write in, that I sleep in, that I eat in, AKA my apartment where I do everything else Else that my life requires and being able to step away from that almost to being outside with no Wi-Fi and just my computer and just the option to write. I was very pleasantly surprised on the first day how easily it was for me to write for the full hour. And that brings me to day two of two of this writing experiment. I ended up writing outside for about an hour and 15 minutes by the pool. And then when I came back inside, I kept going again for like another 40 minutes before I took a break. On this day, my allergies were acting up far more than they were the previous day. And so when I came inside, my nose was itching. I just had to get away from all of the pollen. Otherwise, I really do think that I would have stayed outside for longer. Also, if like the pool wasn't attracting a lot of people because it's supposed to rain for like the next 10 days. So a lot of people were showing up at the pool, which is why I ended up only recording my screen for the first like 20 or 30 minutes I was out there and then just recording the clouds because I didn't want to be disrespectful of other people at the pool. So now that I've tried Sarah J Mass's new writing schedule two days in a row, I thought it was fascinating. The idea is so simple. It's just going outside to write every morning and in this case writing out by like some body of water even though it's not tide pools or the ocean. Although that would be really cool and hopefully I will get the opportunity to try that at some point soon even if it's not in Hawaii. I thought that being able to leave my normal writing space was actually really refreshing and starting earlier in the day allowed me to get the creative juices flowing earlier on and almost allowed me to accomplish more. I don't know if that was because I started earlier in the day than I normally do, if it was because I was working in a different place than I'm used to, if it was because my internet was off while I was out by the pool, if it was because it was a weekend, I have no idea. It could very, very easily be a combination of all four of those things. But all I know is that this worked really well for me and that I will be trying to incorporate this into my writing routine moving forward on days that it's nice out. Today is actually the second day of the writing experiment. I'm at about an hour and 45 minutes so far for the day, but I'm sure that I will work on my book later today as well. And there's something so encouraging about the fact that I've already written over a thousand words today 
and then I've already spent almost two hours working on my creative projects. It's very inspiring and makes me wanna keep doing more later. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel by telling the YouTube algorithm that you liked my video and that someone else might too. I wanna know down in the comments below if you have ever tried something like this or if you would try something like this, going outside and writing every morning or if this is already a part of your routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna see more videos from me, make sure you scroll down below, hit that big red subscribe button and that little notification bell next to it so you don't miss another video. I am currently posting videos twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays and I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye. Thank you.